Hi guys, it's Debbie, and today I'd like to speak about Wakefield, directed by Robin Swickard and starring Brian Cranston and Jennifer Garner. The title of the film derives from the main character's name, Howard Wakefield. Howard has been married with Diana, Jennifer Garner, for many years. They enjoy a wealthy lifestyle, uh, they have two daughters, but their relationship has reached a point in which neither of them are happy or satisfied with their love life. Although there hasn't been a specific negative event, such as a cheating partner or a particularly serious fight, both Howard and Diana have become bored and annoyed of their partner's behaviour and have begun to fall apart. For example, Howard always feels excluded from the family life. He feels as if he were a stranger, somebody that just provides a stable income. He thinks that even his daughters try to avoid him. And he also starts to become very jealous of his wife and infuriated uh, for some of her behaviours, for example, not covering her body as much as he would like. Over the course of time, this situation degenerates into a series of heated discussions and the couple starts to feel more irritated than loving in each other's presence. So one day Howard simply decides to never return home from work, to simply vanish into thin air without any explanation. This decision is partly a revenge, a rushed punishment towards his wife, but also uh, partly an experiment to see how she would react to his disappearance. So he decides to hide in an abandoned storeroom above the garage from which he can spy his family and he ends up uh, uh, living there for months on end, wearing trashed clothes, eating off of his uh, neighbour's garbage, sleeping on the floor while constantly observing his family's behaviour, all while processing his own feelings through lengthy soliloquies. I really enjoyed Wakefield. I found the whole concept very interesting as we often get that feeling of wanting to disappear, not only because of a love story, but because of other situations in life, uh, an uncomfortable work situation, unfavourable economic issues, the loss of friends, loneliness or a general dissatisfaction of the course of life. We also sometimes get that feeling of wanting to disappear, uh, of just simply vanishing, only to see how everybody would react and then just to reappear and prove to the ones closest to us how important we are. This is what Howard Wakefield wants to prove at the beginning of the film. He wants to show that he is not only just a flatmate that provides a stable income. And as a matter of fact, at first he laughs of his wife's despair and gleefully spies on her. But as the months fly by, his time in isolation in this derelict storage room moved from just simply teaching his wife a lesson to more of a cause for reflection. He ends up having lengthy conversations with himself both in his head and out loud, contemplating his own decisions and actions and realising that there are a lot of undiscussed issues in his own personal life. Although the film mostly revolves around one single character, Howard, uh, we hardly hear the other characters speak and the concept which builds the plot is overall quite simple. It never reaches the point of boring us. As the main character produces some interesting, although questionable, thoughts and uh, discussions as he progressively becomes more self-aware even of his selfishness. I know the whole situation is rather unfeasible as Howard hides in plain sight, always unrealistically avoiding being caught. The police uh, never bother to search the premises after his disappearance and he is constantly uh, spying out of the window, staring out of the window, walking around the neighbourhood and nobody ever sees him. So this is the main aspect I didn't really enjoy of the film but if we look uh, and give more importance at the concept which is behind the film then we are left with more food for thought. For example Wakefield never simply stands up for Howard demonising his wife as a money thirsty cold hearted woman. On the contrary the time spent in isolation in the attic serves to Howard as a moment of self discovery, self judgement and he starts to notice certain details of his own behaviour which he could have adjusted during his time with the wife and he works out that there are issues which must be addressed and which can't be solved simply sitting in a dusty storage room. So this film's main strength is the quality of Howard's thoughts of his discussions uh, which enrich the plot and as I said before are questionable but also very interesting. Brian Cranston's character was absolutely on point, it never failed and it never left us any space for doubt, providing a complete picture of what used to be a self-assured successful businessman whose facade soon starts to crumble until it gives away completely, revealing a fragile human being whose anger is not only aimed to those around him but also to himself. In general Cranston brought on screen a good rendition of of a nervous breakdown without falling into the usual film cliches. This film also presents the right balance of comedy and drama, as the situation, uh, often, mostly at the beginning, unfolds in a nearly comedic way, with Howard's sarcastic comments and his hilarious visions of how the situation would play out if he were to suddenly reappear in front of his family. But then as the film moves on, it becomes very dark and sad. So the plot and themes follow Howard's mental breakdown over the course of the months, from gleeful absurd revenge to self awareness.
business. I wouldn't describe Wakefield as an awesome film, but it certainly provides an interesting insight to a situation which isn't specifically uh, familiar to most of us, but which can be applied to many other situations in our life, creating a universal analysis of dissatisfaction. Let me know what you thought about this film with a comment here below, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more movie-related content. See you soon. Bye.